Andrew, this is obviously a great example of people coming into this country that needed us and making an incredible contribution and clearly enhancing this country. How many people have we taken in from Ukraine and, and what is the need like? Australia has taken in 4,800 nationally. Um, I'm from the Ukrainian Council of New South Wales, so I'm really close to what's happening in New South Wales. And here we have 1,700 in New South Wales. Um, look, uh, so many of them are like uh, Tatiana and Anastasia. They're hard workers, they're learning English, they're trying to re-qualify, they're trying to rebuild their lives from absolutely nothing. The stresses are, are constant. Um, it is very challenging to try to get on with your life knowing that loved ones could die every mm. single day. Every Ukrainian Australian, those that have just arrived or those, those that have been there their whole lives like me, still have family back in Ukraine. And every morning you wake up and think, has my village been bombed? Has my town been bombed? Uh, Russia dropped, you know, as we've seen, 100, 100 bombs across all of Ukraine just a few days ago and is continuing to do this. It is trying to terrorise the Ukrainian population prior to winter so they'll make a deal, but it won't work. In terms of the domestic need, the big needs we have um, are really finding jobs and accommodation. So the state government and the federal government provide short-term accommodation upon your arrival into Australia. There's around six weeks. After six weeks, though, the they need to find their own accommodation. There is no social housing. There's already a mm. massive queue. They don't go to the front of that, and we're not asking for and, them and to And that's the, the hard front. part, because I spoke about at the top of the show with, with the cost of living crisis, energy bills, power bills. There are a lot of Australians doing it really tough as mm. well. So th there's a big pool of people that need to be helped. It's, it's tough. Absolutely. Uh, so what the state government provides a lot, but we still need more. Um, if people want to help displaced Ukrainians, look, if you want to help just one displaced Ukrainian. There is a woman whose husband died on the front lines two weeks ago. Oh. She was here, she's a 30 year old woman. Her name is Irena. Her husband, she has a four year old and a two year old. Mm. She got a call on the 22nd of October to say your husband has been killed. So if you go to the Ukrainian Council of New South Wales website, which is ucnsw.org, there is a link there to a GoFundMe where you can raise money for Irena. When who now has to, has to face life without a husband and her children without a loving father. If you want to help other, all displaced Ukrainians, go to our, our website, we'll take you to the Ukraine Crisis Appeal. The Ukraine Crisis Appeal, it's an Australian charity. It's set up here, it's tax deductible, it's run in conjunction with Rotary Australia, and it provides grassroots support to displaced Ukrainians here in Australia, or you can donate to help Ukrainians in Ukraine. Winter's coming, it's brutal. Yeah. It really, that's how people can help. I can see you're, you're tearing up. I'm it, tearing it, up it, even it's, hearing that. It, it, it's is very, I, I knew Irena. I, I placed yeah. her in a home. And when I heard that her husband had died, it, it, yeah, it, it's very hard. You're clearly doing this with the greatest of intentions. These are your people and, and well done on the work you guys are doing. How does it feel to hear that when you sit here with your husband over there, your father over there? It's, it's very scary. But we really worry about everybody in Ukraine. Yes, it's all our big family. Yeah. We love Ukraine. We love all Ukrainian people. And we worry, really, it's very hard time for all our country. Uh, I think, yes, me and my daughter, we like a person. We like it. Thank you, God. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Australia. We uh, in safety. We um, feel caring here, everywhere. Okay, well, uh, that's a real healthy dose of perspective if anyone watching needs that. Thank you so very much, both of you. Thank you. In another five, six months, I'll bring you on and, and hopefully the rest okay, of the yes. family might be here as well. Or you'll be back home and we'll live cross yes. you back home. Who knows? Oh. Fingers crossed. And thank you so much for coming yes. in all of your work. <laughs>